Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Thursday, April 14th, 2022. Well, yesterday was kind of interesting. Um, we had some bank earnings that disappointed, and then we had a PPI reading that was the highest on record and the bulls found reason to rally on that. Actually, what they seemed to key on was that Delta Airlines produced a report yesterday that um, was a smaller loss than expected, but they actually guided forward saying that they think profits are on the way despite the higher prices that they're having to charge due to inflation. So kind of an interesting market. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for a Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. My goodness, we have a full plate of things coming our way today, and um, how the market reacts, boy, I think it's anybody's guess. First off, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Nice little pop-up, a bullish engulfing candle here on that chart. But what I want you to note is that we haven't broken that downtrend yet, and we still have this considerable resistance level above that we've yet to deal with. And who, who knows whether or not we're going to be able to push on through with all the data today. Push on through, that certainly is a possibility. Remember, before we really get um, a bullish signal here in the market, we need to break that downtrend. We need to hold that higher low and then see buyers actually follow through to the upside. So we don't end up with something like this, where we pop through and then just reverse. And that certainly is a possibility here in the chart. And with the volatility that we've seen in this market of late, I don't think anyone would see that as a major surprise. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. Now let's keep in mind, we have this resistance level in the chart, if those bulls can get going, um, to push through that level. And if the bears find reason for inspiration, well, let's kind of keep in mind that we have a support level right here that's gonna be pretty critical on the day. Now, what we've been doing is we've just been dancing around this 50-day moving average. We fail it and we recover it, we fail it, recover it. We haven't been able to get up and hold above that 200-day moving average. So we still have that challenge here in the diamonds. And with such a big day of data coming our way, your guess is as good as mine as to what comes next. Let's take a look at our SPY. Very much the same situation where we rallied nicely yesterday, but didn't break that downtrend. We were not able to break through these resistance levels here in the chart but we did successfully hold that price support. So once again, if those bulls can find inspiration, then we have that opportunity that we could pop that downtrend and um, push into those resistance levels. If the bears gain control, well, there we've got our problem where we could break back down and maybe start to seek some new levels of support in the chart. Uh, wow, I just don't know which way this market's going to go with all this data today. Now, the good news is we did crack right back above that 50 50 day moving average, but I don't think anyone really sees this as being overly confident um, at this point that we will be able to push right on through. We're going to need some good data to do that, and that may be possible coming today, so watch closely for that. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ has struggled um, an awful lot here recently, and as you can see, we've got this resistance level above. We still have this downtrend that we're dealing with here in the QQQ. These rising bond rates really are, are creating some issues for the NASDAQ. We have a little bit of support level right there in that chart trying to hold. So if those bulls engage or can engage, then look for that opportunity that we might push through. But once again, those bears, if they remain feisty heading into this long weekend um, and break that level, that would be pretty damaging on the day. The technicals of the QQQ aren't quite as rosy as the other indexes, noticing that we're still below our 50-day moving average. And and we've created a pretty substantial zone of resistance right here, even with our technicals. So we'll want to watch that level pretty closely. And then if we take a look at our IWM, now IWM had a good day yesterday rallying up um, strongly and really kind of defying um, 
um, any resistance here on the chart but you notice we we're running right into that downtrend here and as you can see we have a fairly substantial level of resistance above and if we can get through that well then it's just a huge level um, resistance above that and if those bears were to come into play notice it really wouldn't take all that much to maybe push us back down through that level and I think the high likelihood is we're going to test these lows um, in the chart eventually so watch that carefully and again um, we're still below our 50-day moving average in here so not a good situation for the Russell just yet um, a lot could change though with all of this data coming out today so let's take a look at our uh, VIX now our VIX pulled back yesterday and that was nice to see. We saw that little bit as we rallied, that fear dropping a little bit here in the market. But unfortunately, we really didn't fix all that much because if we draw a line up here, there's our trend and we still have that possibility that we could bounce or hold this trend to the upside. And we're still holding above this 20 handle area on uh, the VIX, which um, is a big, big support level in the chart so we'll want to watch that closely on the good news side is that we um, back from this 25 26 level here in the VIX we have held that as resistance so we're kind of bouncing around in this range I can't tell you what today's data will um, will bring for us and heading into a three-day weekend but we'll want to watch these two levels pretty closely Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. In our T2122, we rallied pretty substantially. So if those bulls find reason to pop or move higher today, notice that we've closed a big gap here already um, in this move, and we've, we could really quickly be up here in the bearish reversal zone on T2122. And if those bulls, well, if they engage, we certainly have opened a substantial downside potential in the chart with yesterday's, you know, nearly 300 point rally. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our T2108. Whoops. T2108 had a nice improvement yesterday. 51% of the stocks uh, pushing up um, pretty nicely yesterday, uh, particularly right at the end of the day. And as you can see, we have a little bit of price resistance in the chart right there. And if I were to push this back just a little bit more, we know we still have that downtrend resistance in the chart that we've got to deal with um, overall. But the good news is, we have held support levels here so far. So rally back up and toward this area to test that resistance certainly could be possible if those bulls find enough inspiration. But remember, we could also move lower here pretty easily and pretty quickly. So um, let's take a look at our T2107. T2107, nice little improvement again yesterday. We held this price support, so that's a good sign. And we still have that resistance level above that we're gonna to have to deal with in this chart. So kind of watch that closely, 36% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Um, I'm not sure we can really get to a feeling that this is really, really bullish, but it is nice that we're, we're trying to stiffen up here just a little bit um, on that bullish side. And then if we take a look at our T2101, unfortunately, T2101 is not helping us out really because we continue to see kind really anemic, I shouldn't even say kind of, pretty anemic um, volume throughout the day um, in the market. And then we get that surge of dark pool activity being consolidated to market at the end of the day. And um, as you can see in here, um, relatively low um, volume readings on the diamonds, um, SPY, QQQ. We're, we're struggling in here to get sufficient volume to really show much momentum in any direction, which kind of leaves us in that uncertain place. Now, uh, what we have going on today is we have big banks um, reporting, um, WFC 
reporting this morning. We're going to hear from Goldman Sachs this morning and and uh, Citibank and BAC. So we've got a lot of these big bank earnings that will be coming out today that could move us um, all over the place. WFC is one of the first here to report, and it looks like um, they've kind of disappointed here at the moment. So keep an eye on that. And then other news that's uh, you know moving things around. Um, um, Elon Musk has now offered to buy Twitter, um, to buy it outright and take the company private. So um, interesting, interesting things hopping and popping here today as we slide into a long weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And oh my goodness, we have um, a busy economic calendar that could uh, provide um, quite a little bit of well, um, volatility. Let's just, um, uh, quite a little bit of volatility. We've got uh, jobless claims. We know that those have been coming in pretty strong. So not a major worry about that. But then we've got retail sales. And I think there is a big question mark hanging over retail sales. Um, consensus is suggesting that that will improve over last month. Um, uh, maybe they're right. We'll see. Um, with prices rising so much, we're starting to see those consumers changing some of their habits. So watch that one closely. If that were to come in negative, that might be um, rough for the market this morning. So watch that close. Import export prices, business inventories, and one of my favorite um, indicators is consumer sentiment. Uh, market tends to move the way the consumers feel because we are a consumer based economy. And um, they they are expecting that consumer sentiment slipping just a little bit here um, in the consensus. So we'll want to watch that this morning here at 10 a.m. Um, if consumers can continue to show us stress, that does not bode well for the market. So watch that. And then we've got um, natural gas report. We've got several other things going on in here on announcements, some short term auctions going on in um, bonds. And then we've got Mester out here speaking um, this afternoon, and we've got Fed balance sheet and Patrick Hawker um, here um, later today. So keep an eye on that. And then let's take a look on Friday. Even though the market is closed, we're going to get Empire State and industrial production. And that's an interesting one that to be coming in um, on a holiday where no one is really going to be paying attention. That's going to be an interesting one to pay attention to. If you can see here, consensus is suggesting industrial production is declining. Um, so we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, that could also be one of those market movers that um, make things um, well, who knows? It could be uncomfortable Monday morning. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at that earnings calendar today. We have a pretty busy day. There's about 60 or so companies listed on the calendar, but a good number of those are not um, confirmed. But those that are, um, guys, if you want the full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of reports. I've already mentioned several of the big banks that will be reporting included um, in that. We've got um, UNH, United Healthcare, will be reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye on United Healthcare. We have um, TSM. Um, on that list to, or um, today, you'll want to um, keep a close eye on TSM. That's one of those potential market movers. Um, we're going to see um, ERIC on that list and um, LAKE. Um, just a few things that you might want to be paying attention to as we um, kind of wrap up this trading week um, and big bank earnings. So watch those careful. Let's take a quick look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And then also, if you feel the video is worthy, please click that thumbs up button 
leave those brief comments and I just can't say thank you enough. I, I know doing it every day is kind of a hassle, but I truly, truly appreciate you guys supporting the effort of putting these videos out every day. Your comments um, help the channel to grow and, and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at a few things that could be setting up. And remember guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have to be very, very careful and do your own due diligence and as we slide into a three-day weekend, you may want to think carefully about um, how much risk um, you want to carry into a three-day weekend. If you've been catching up on the news out there, Russia has really stepped up its rhetoric, threatening nuclear action. If Sweden and Finland join NATO, um, there's just all of these uncertainties out there heading into a longer weekend. So you'll want to watch um, this stuff pretty carefully as, um, as we slide into that weekend and consider your risk. It may be one of those days where you just want to put up your feet, pop some popcorn, and sit back and watch the show rather than get heavily involved um, in um, all of this data pouring out because we could see some substantial volatility. So let's take a look at these stocks and remember make sure you're following your own rules in these trades and following very closely um, um, understanding how much risk there are in these positions. So let's take a look at tractor supply. As you guys know I've been I've mentioned this a few times. Tractor supply failed right in here, rallied back strongly and we're still trying to test this area in the chart to see if we can break through. I think it is worth keeping an eye on this because if tractor supply does break through here, remember I think with a rising food prices this urban farming idea is going to maybe pick up um, a lot of folks might be thinking about planting those gardens and things this year because of those food prices so keep an eye on that if that can break through that would be a pretty substantial um, uh, pop in um, tractor supply so watch that close other places you know I've been keeping a close eye on this Johnson & Johnson J&J &J, um, the um, Drug makers have been really strong and continue to start to stay strong. And as you can see, J&J &J popping through this resistance level here and holding it as support. Now, if we draw a trend line right up through this area, notice we're coming right out into that area where this is going to potentially make that decision to follow on through to the upside. So watch that carefully, J&J. &J could be setting up here nicely. Um, if you take a look at Moderna, now Moderna's gone the other direction. It's been, man, down, 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 as you can see here in the chart. But the reason I drew that trend line on there is I want you to notice we may have that opportunity that we pop that downtrend here in the chart. Nice bullish action on this yesterday. And if we take a look over here, this is that rounded bottom breakout pattern, which by the way, uh, my good buddy, um, Rick Sadler and Park Partner is going to be teaching um, a class on this pattern and he is actually the guy who named this pattern and put it all together so um, if you're interested make sure you get over to the hit and run candlesticks website to sign up for that coming class watch this right in here we're we're holding that 50-day moving average we drug that average out and notice that that 50 is starting to turn up shorter term averages have crossed up through providing that support in here so mrna may be one of those um, opportunities that this may push on through to the upside watch that close there are quite a few other places out there that i think would be wise to be paying attention to um, gold has made a substantial move and it's looking like it wants to um, hold up here today now we always want to keep in mind when we stretch up like this we could find a little rest or pullback in here to come back to this longer term trend but watch that closely we know russia's been buying gold china's been buying gold heavily and um, we'll want to keep an eye on this because it's still holding up pretty darn well and of course anything in those gold and silver miners would also be a place to look if you take a look at silver also breaking back through this resistance level up here 
Now we've done this before where we've broke through and then couldn't hold. So what's going to be important here now is that we prove to hold up here and then I would be watching for some potential upside here in silver if it does hold. So keep a close eye on some of those precious metals. Now um, other places that I think you just have to continue to look. Take a look at stocks like Mosaic. Now Mosaic is finally getting a little bit of a rest and pullback. Food prices remain very very strong and um, anything in that ag sector remains strong. So as these rest and pull back we want to look for that next opportunity to the upside and you can see that in a lot of these stocks take a look at CF finally getting some rest here um, it, this rest or pullback if we can hold some support in that chart watch for that next opportunity um, 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 ADM Archer Daniels has been in a on a tear to the upside as you can see very very strong we're getting this little consolidating move happening right in here holding on to that support it is certainly possible that we could see that continue to follow through to the upside and you could look at some of these defensive sector stocks to, to just realize that anything in food has been doing pretty well take a look at coca-cola man what a move to the upside just tearing it up just nice and steady move to the upside a rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there we've also seen that on um, other food stocks like Hershey really really strong moving to the upside so keep a close eye on some of those defensive sector stocks that continue to show lots of strength so with that everyone I want to wish you a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here you know um, Three day weekends can be a little bit challenging because of the volatility. So I, once again, I want to caution you to be just a little bit careful and try not to over trade and um, watch this data as it comes out because we could see quite a little volatility um, in this morning session as a result. So everyone, I want to wish you all the best and have a wonderful Easter weekend. Take care, y'all. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.